Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, our topic is about loss of thermodynamics, heat engine, and heat pumps. At the end of this video, learners are expected to define thermodynamics, discuss the different laws of thermodynamics, and explain what heat engines and pumps are. Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with the relationships between heat and the other forms of energy. In particular, it describes how thermal energy is converted to and from the other forms of energy and how it affects matter. It covers macroscopic properties such as work, pressure, and temperature, and their involvement in energy transformations. And lastly, it deals with the changes in the system using the properties that can be measured and observed in experiments. There are four laws of thermodynamics. The first one is the zeroth law of thermodynamics. It takes into account that temperature is something worth measuring because it predicts whether the heat will transfer between objects or not. This is still regardless of how the objects interact. Even if two objects are not in physical contact, heat still can flow between them by means of radiation mode of heat transfer. Whereas, the zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if the systems are in thermal equilibrium, no heat flow will take place. If objects A and B are in thermal equilibrium with object C, then object A is also in thermal equilibrium with object B. This statement defines that zeroth law of thermodynamics. The law is based on temperature measurement. Next is the first law of thermodynamics states that the energy of the universe remains the same, though it may be exchanged between the system and the surroundings. It can be created or destroyed. The law basically relates to the changes in energy states due to work and heat transfer. It redefines the conservation of energy concept. In other words, the change in internal energy of a system is equal to the heat added to the object minus the work done by the object. In a heat engine, the thermal energy is converted into mechanical energy, and the process also is vice versa. Heat engines are mostly categorized as an open system. The basic working principle of a heat engine is that it makes use of the different relationships between heat, pressure, and volume of a working fluid, which is usually a gas. Sometimes, phase changes might also occur involving a gas to liquid and back to gas. The heat input in the simple steam engine is used to increase the temperature of the system as well as to do work on the piston. Mechanical work such as steering can increase the temperature of the system. The third law is the second law of thermodynamics. It states that any spontaneously occurring process will always lead to an escalation in the entropy of the universe. In simple words, the law explains that an isolated system's entropy will never decrease over time. Nonetheless, in some cases where the system is in thermodynamic equilibrium or going through a reversible process, the total entropy of a system and its surroundings remains constant. The second law is also known as the law of increased entropy. Heat is naturally flowing from a hotter object to a colder one. Other information about the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy is a measure of disorder in a system. Natural processes go in a direction that maintains or increases the total entropy of the universe. It means that all usable, high-quality energy turn into less useful energy. It is contained in an object. If heat is added to the system, its entropy increases. If heat is removed from it, its entropy decreases. High quality energy from the fuel is transformed into less useful energy such as waste heat, thus increasing the entropy. Lastly is the third law of thermodynamics. It gives the lowest temperature that can be achieved by a system which is equal to absolute zero or zero Kelvin or negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. It states that the entropy of a perfect crystal is zero when the temperature of the crystal is equal to absolute zero. Therefore, 
a system in absolute zero has the only one accessible number of states, its ground state. As for the third of thermodynamics, the entropy of such a system is exactly zero. Our next topic is heat engine. It is a system that converts heat to mechanical energy. It needs a high temperature source where heat can be injected into the engine. It requires a low temperature reservoir or heat sink where heat from the engine can be released. It also needs a way to convert heat into work. Heat always flows from a high temperature to a lower temperature reservoir. In a heat engine, heat flows from the hot reservoir to the cold sink. Heat engines need a working substance for it to function. Working substance refers to any matter in the engine that experiences removal and absorption of heat, expansion and compression, and change in phase. An example of a heat engine is the engine. Steam engine uses water as the working substance. It follows a repeated process where water evaporates into steam in a boiler. Cyclic process is the process where the working substance undergoes several steps but goes back to the same state to where it started. A steam locomotive train produces its cooling power using a steam engine. Refrigerator is a heat engine working in reverse. It takes heat from a colder place and releases it to a warmer reservoir. It requires a work input which takes place in the compressor unit of the refrigerator. A refrigerator has several essential parts. The working substance in a refrigerator is a refrigerant fluid such as prion. An evaporator is composed of cooling coils inside a refrigerator and characterized by low pressure and low temperature. Condenser coils located outside the refrigerator is characterized by high temperature and high pressure. Heat is absorbed when the fluid enters the expansion valve and the evaporator. Heat is released when the fluid passes through the compressor and condenser coil. Air conditioner. An air conditioner works similar to a refrigerator. The condenser coils are located outside as they release heat to the surrounding air. The evaporator is located inside and the cool room serves as the insulation, similar to the insulation box of a refrigerator. An air conditioner uses the same principle as the refrigerator. Heat is absorbed in the indoors and released outside creating room with a lower temperature. Lastly is heat pumps. During cold weather, heat pumps extract the heat outside and releases it indoors, thus warming the room. During hotter seasons, as heat simply works as an air conditioner. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.